How do you measure the value of a park to a community? And how do you determine if it's living up to its potential? And what do you do if you find it lacking? Well, that's where Park Pride comes in. This is Michael Hallecky, and he's the executive director of Park Pride here in Atlanta. And Michael, tell me where we are. So we're in Orm Park. It's a beautiful park here, nice um, quiet trail. And we also have a playground over here and a lot of different um, activities for a lot of the families that live in this neighborhood. This park is a personal connection to the folks that live around it. So how does your organization partner with neighborhoods like this as it relates to their parks? So the mission of Park Pride is to provide programs, funding, and leadership to engage communities in developing and improving their parks. And what that means is we work with communities first to develop a Friends of the Park group. And then from that group, we build and use all the different programs and services to help that community move from the park they have to the park they really want and need. As I see it, uh, parks are a critical part where the community comes together. An in-town park plays a critical role in giving people access to that green space. It also provides the added benefit of getting to know your friends and neighbors. So it really does play a role on both the natural and the social effort to bring together that whole in-town experience in a very unique way. So how can a neighborhood engage you in helping them in this process? Um, it really begins with that first phone call, that as soon as an, uh, a community is interested in starting a Friends Of group, they reach out to us, we come out to a meeting and start meeting with neighbors, and the process begins from there. Green spaces benefit the communities that surround them, and so the community visioning process actually brings out community needs on a deep level and actually helps them implement those from anywhere from a year to 30 years down the line. There's lots of different folks in this neighborhood. There are AD neighbors, and there's neighbors with young children, and then there's people that use the park that just have dogs. It was good for everyone to feel involved and to be able to say what they wanted. Our whole ethos is a bottom-up approach, and how do you get communities to feel ownership over their parks? They are, you know, such a part of the community. It is so popular. Everyone loves this park so much. Everyone is using it. We love it. Since 2005, since the program started, we've helped communities actually implement over $12 million of projects identified in Visionings. Our organization last year gave $625,000 to 17 different parks all over Atlanta and DeKalb. And so we're a source of funding to help these park improvements come to, come to fruition. Uh, with the understanding that the community helps to raise the matching dollars that are required with those foundation dollars. Your organization also needs support. A good bit of right. your funding comes from charitable giving. That's right. How can people give to your organization? There's a number of different ways that they, they can give. One is uh, we have an annual campaign each year. We also host different events throughout the year. So we have an annual Parks and Green Space Conference, which is the added benefit of getting up to speed on all the great things that are happening in Parks and Green Space, but also attending and supporting the organization as well. We actually employ a full-time volunteer coordinator that helps to, to host large-scale work days where we'll bring in uh, corporate partners and community groups to come into parks. And I see those as kind of the Calvary that come to help the Friends of groups with projects that are bigger than just them. So it's really a long-term partnership. It is. And really the thing that I found most amazing about Park Pride um, since coming into this role is that Park Pride is, yes, we're an environmental organization, but we're really more about cultivating and building community um, as much as we are about parks. Having pride in your park, that's just another easy way to be green. At Green Shorts, we tell these stories because we believe that we all have to work together toward a greener future. Our mission is to help you see green so you can be green and save a little green. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video to help spread the message. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe for new videos every Thursday and Saturday.